All right, concealed carry holders, are you suffering from Dunning-Kruger effect? Look, to put it simply, we all think we're better than we are. All right, Josh is 225, I'm 165. I've got more training than he has, but oh, you've got far. extensive firearms training, a lot more than I do. Oh yeah, I've been shooting a long time. All right, I've been doing Citizen Defender six, oh, no, not even six, six, six months, months like, yeah. like three March. months. March, yeah. Three months of training. Look, these are perishable skills, guys, and you come up with on somebody that is just a little bit better than you hand to hand, how quickly that firearm can disappear. Absolutely. Right? And you're not justified to pull that firearm until I show deadly intent in some manner. Right. Great bodily harm, whatever right. it may be. All right, we're not lawyers. There's some great channels out there on YouTube. There are, yeah. <laughs> but remember, <laughs> this thing comes out fast. So, fast. until Josh is justified, he's not going to go for that firearm because nope. he's not justified. But I am going, we're going to go with the data, a simple assault. Yep. All right, as a concealed carry holder, yeah, he's getting serious. I didn't bring a mouthpiece in here. So, what, what, what are you looking at my wife for? Whoa, why are you touching me, man? I don't want you. are looking at my wife and so you're touching what? me. Keep it's your a hands off me. Room. That's really tough looking down the barrel of your own weapon from that perspective. Look, but train to fail, you get better. Yep. That just right. made you better. I went to the wrong side on the ground, and for a long time I thought this is the only thing I needed for self-defense, and I was wrong. Look guys, if you want to be safer, check out rmsdf.com and our Citizen Defender program.